家你好，欢迎到中国中文数字的第七集，最后一集。Hi everyone, welcome to Chinese Numbers Lesson Number Seven, the last lesson. I'm actually not in California right now. If you look out the window,、uh, you might be able to see the cactus over there. And that means I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, in the desert. So, yeah. So for the past six lessons, we've been learning how to count Chinese numbers various ways. We can go to really high numbers, and、uh, we learn the fractions and decimals and all that kind of stuff. So today we're going to actually cover how to. Say a certain amount of things. You're actually going to apply your number knowledge now. In English, counting things is easy. If you have three pens here, it just says three pens. Three pens. But in Chinese, we have something called measure words.、Um, it's something like when I say three sheets of paper. In Chinese, we have the, you know the word sheets. That would be a measure word.、Um, We can't just say three papers; that'd be kind of weird. So in Chinese, we have measure words for everything. So, for example, for pens, we say three sticks of pens. San zhi bi.、Um, everything in Chinese uses measure numbers, even things like desks, cars, CDs, watches, computers, books, thumbtacks, apples, strings, fish, shop, cows, people, almost everything.、Um, I think there might be a few exceptions, but Nothing I can think of right now. There are a lot of these measure words.、Um, a lot of them、uh, work with many different objects, so you could use the same measure word for a lot of different objects. And each kind of object has its own measure word that you need to know. You need to know which measure word to use for which kind of object. So we'll go over a go over a few of the more common ones. So I'll be. Putting in the、uh, actual Chinese characters in the description, I think over there,、um, and you'll be able to see them there because it takes a lot of time to put the text on the video. So the first one we'll cover is g. Pronounced g is the fifth tone g, and it's used to count basically anything.、Um, we usually use it to count things where they're. Where the object has no measure words prescribed to it, or you can't think of the measure word, or basically anything like people, buildings, planets, apples, oranges, anything.、Um, but usually you want to use、um, other, the more proper measure words for objects, right? So, for example, 一个垃圾桶一个 Lesser tong, one lesser tong. So one trash can. Right, that's the example.、Um, another common one is for animals. We have zhi, which is you can use for basically any animal, even insects. So you have like two animals, two cats, one hundred and one dogs, one hundred and one dogs. Another one is for.、Um, Thin things like paper and tissue, you have, which is zhang. Three zhang zhi, three sheets of paper. Two zhang washing zhi, two tissues. Um. Oh, and zhang can also be used for tables and chairs. That's kind of weird, but that's what we use. So we have a table and a table drawer, one desk. Yeah. Next, the one that I mentioned at the beginning of the lesson was a zhi, which we use to count、um, stick-like objects. It sounds, 
it's, it's the exact same pronunciation as the one that we use to count animals, but it's written differently. You just when you hear it, you just have to tell for, based on the context. So you have "sanjibi," as we said earlier. "一只棍子," one stick. "Zhi" is also interchangeable with another word, "gen," and I'm not exactly sure the distinction. But oh, never mind. I just looked it up. Um, "Gen" is used for even thinner objects, though sometimes it's interchangeable with "zhi." So you have like hair, you buy gun, tofa, one hundred hairs. Okay, one last one I'll mention is for buildings, large buildings, which is zuo. You have um, 一座高楼, one tall building, one uh, skyscraper. Right. So that's it. Actually, the Wikipedia website. The Wikipedia article for Chinese measure word actually lists a ton of Chinese measure words that and describes how they're used and it shows you the traditional and simplified characters and their pronunciation and pinyin. So it's pretty useful. I'll link to it in the description. So that's the end of Chinese numbers. If you have any questions, uh, just message me on YouTube or you can go comment in the comment box and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. Right. So, 再见.